Now, to evaluate cosine of 60, guys, there's two really, really easy ways, um, or a really one really easy way to do this. And the other way that I want to explain, because they wanted you to find the decimal and the fraction. For this, guys, I'm not going to, I, I really am not too concerned. I just want to make sure you guys can um, be able to plug them into your calculator. But I want to show you ex ex at least what they're talking about as far as finding the exact um, fractional, fractional uh, value. So here we have a 60 degrees. They said use a special right triangle. We know that on a 60, 30, 60, 90 triangle, hopefully you guys remember, if this was x, then we call this 2x. And this was, does anybody remember? x times what? Thank you. That was the, relation, that was the ratios of your special right triangle, right? Now, if I want to evaluate for the cosine of 60 degrees, remember the cosine of any angle equals the adjacent over the hypotenuse, right? But I don't want to be putting x over 2x to be able to figure that out. Well, actually, even though I could, um, let's just go and pl plug in some numbers. Is it OK if I let x equal 1? Would that work? Can I let x equal 1? Sure. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at a triangle. And it doesn't matter what values you have for that. Um, actually, you know what? Let's just, let's just leave it as is. So if I use my value here, I'll say now the cosine of 60 degrees is equal to the adjacent side, which is x, over my hypotenuse, which is 2x. Now you guys can see that the x's divide out, and I'm just left with 1 half. So the cosine of 60 degrees is equal to 1 half. If you take your calculator and type in the cosine of 60 <coughs> degrees, you will get 0.5, which is 1 half. Okay. So all I want you guys to be able to do is take your 30, 60, 90 triangle and go ahead and find the rate.